Series Weltmeister. So Ferrari, after days of teasing us with their Miami Grand Prix special livery, they have finally revealed it. And sadly, it couldn't be any more underwhelming. With the number of times the team emphasized on the blue factor, I expected Ferrari to just go all out with the blue. To deliver a very special livery by switching up things and embracing the other parts of the racing heritage. But sadly, what we got was so disappointing. I mean, Ferrari had all the ingredients to lean into a path like never before to deliver something new and special. Instead, the livery looks out of place with the colors and the patterns. I mean, they had the opportunity to replicate what Mercedes did at Hockenheim in 2019, what McLaren did at Monaco and Red Bull at Turkey in 2021, which made those liveries super special and memorable. But Ferrari went down a path that is very similar to their Monza spec one-off liveries. At least with that, the color and the combinations actually work and blend well with each other, barring the 2022 Monza spec one-off livery. But unfortunately with this one, you can't say the same. This livery looks more like a tribute or an announcement livery of their HP sponsorship. And that HP logo on that rollover hoop, man, that's a problem. If that's gonna stay, that has to be in white. It can't be in the brand's actual color because it just does not work. And I also hate the fact that the Ferrari logo on the rear wing is gone for the HP sponsorship. I mean, the car that looked so good at the start of the season is progressively getting worse and worse with sponsorships. I love that Ferrari logo on the rear wing. Honestly, that was the icing on the cake with Ferrari's liveries ever since 2023. To be fair, some of the fan-made liveries on Twitter look so much better than what Ferrari has actually managed to achieve. And for the people who are asking, did you genuinely expect Ferrari to not be red with their special livery? Well, the thing is that I did not expect Ferrari to completely write off the red. I expected them to integrate the red as accents throughout the car in a tasteful manner to work with the dual tone blue. And even if we thought that Ferrari would go all in with the blue just for one race, I don't think there's anything wrong with it considering the fact that blue is also part of the racing heritage. The only consolation factor here is that at least the racing overhauls look good. It's sad that the car's actual livery doesn't live up to that level. And now moving on to RB who have also brought a Miami Grand Prix special livery and I have to say they have knocked it out of the park with this one. I mean considering the fact that they already had a pretty livery, topping that with a special livery will always be a very difficult code to crack but RB has actually managed to achieve it and they achieved it to absolute perfection. The usage of the tie-dye colors works really well with the Miami theme and the best part is that the additions doesn't stick out like a sore thumb as the special livery has been applied over the original livery. It has a perfect blend and honestly I would not mind seeing this livery making a return for rest of the American Grand Prix as well. You know what is the most important part of all of this is that despite using a very vibrant color combination, the livery doesn't look busy to the eye. So kudos to RB's design crew for doing such a splendid job with the livery and lifting our spirits after Ferrari's livery disappointment. So yes guys, these are my thoughts and opinion on both the teams one of livery and honestly, RB has done a brilliant job with their one-off livery and Ferrari's livery is a bit of a disappointment. So yes guys, these are my thoughts and opinion on it and I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and let me know down in the comments on what are your thoughts on both the liveries as well. I'm curious to know what is your take on it. So leave it down in the comments. With that being said, subscribe to the Red Master channel if you haven't already and also hit the bell icon while you're at it so you get notified whenever I upload a brand new video. And until next time, it's me Vinesh from Red Master and I'm out. Love you guys, stay safe, peace.